Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having a great day. So you missed GameStop, me too. But fear not, because news reports all weekend say that Melvin Capital lost $4 billion in the month of January because of GameStop. So if you're a hedge fund right now and you're short stocks, you are in total fear. And you're unwinding positions starting last week and you don't just unwind those positions in a day or a week. It's going to carry into this coming week. So today, I spent the whole day researching heavily shorted stocks, and I got 10 of them that looked prime for, to continue that breakout, and we're going to talk about them right now. What's setting up to make money this week off of the pin action of GameStop? Okay, so let's review 10 stocks that I've found through research and today that are heavily shorted, and I'll review the short position of each of these. And again, the trend that we're playing against is that these big money players, these hedge funds, are going to be scared to death about being caught on the wrong side of these short positions right now. They might consider themselves right to short these stocks. But they know that it doesn't matter what's right right now. What happened with GameStop is going to put absolute fear into these folks. And it's going to take weeks to unwind these positions. So these are plays for the next two weeks. I'll be watching incredibly close starting tomorrow for these breakout points that I've listed here. So here's the 10. First is Inovio Pharmaceuticals. If you've seen my videos, I talked about these this stock a couple days ago for a break above the 50-day moving average, which is now at 1050. It broke up, and I sold those positions up around over the $12 mark, and it came back down to retest, just about retest that 50-day. And Friday, it, it bounced back up. You see the trend line, the, um, the resistance point, it's bumping up against that. It clears that resistance just under $13 and it will try to fill the gap up to around the $16.5, $17 mark. Um, so that's number one. Second, CLVS, Clovis Oncology, another pharmaceutical play. Um, again, this is the um, one-year chart, well above the 50-day moving average resistance at around $10 we're looking for, heavily shorted. There's a 35% of float is currently shorted or currently as of the mid-January. Mid and um, so we're watching for that break above the $10 mark. Uh, now, here's one I absolutely love, Virgin Galactic. This is the two-year chart, um, weekly candles. Last week was incredible. Huge run up to around the $60 mark, and it came down the next uh, Wednesday, I guess it was, and um, sort of bounced around. It's flatlined for the most part on Friday, closing up around 44 and change. We're looking for that trend to continue well above the resistance of um, what would be, you know, around the mid 30s. It's absolutely in price discovery mode right now. This has got a lot going for it. It had a failed test in the December time frame, a positive uh, um, test launch of some satellites earlier in January, and they're gearing up for Richard Branson to uh, to to take flight um, later this quarter, supposedly. I think another test flights do um, but a catalyst in the near term is, a, is an announcement of that test flight being scheduled and when that test flight occurs assuming it's successful the next step is Branson uh, going up as well and those catalysts are two or three catalysts in this quarter that are going to occur that are going to keep this thing going current um, as of mid-January short interest in this why you would short this is beyond me but um, short is 56% of float as of mid-January. So a lot of short action in this that um, I'm looking for this to continue the run this week with a move up to the $60 mark. And then the following week, hopefully still being in price discovery, who knows where this is going to go. If you've taken an, a flight and gotten on the internet, there's a good chance you've either been a customer or have at least heard of GoGo, overpriced internet service on, uh, on flights. But um, look, it's formed a base for since September time frame through the, uh, the mid-January time frame. 33% of float is short. It broke out on Monday of last week, 
consolidated that breakout, retested the resist or the what was resistance now support on Thursday and is sort of flatlining there. So I'm looking for a break above the 14 and a half, approaching $15 to move back into price discovery this week. Car parts is a uh, I don't have the graph up. Shoot, let me uh, let me take care of that while I'm talking. Car parts is a uh, um, secondhand uh, uh, seller of used car parts. Uh, Carparts.com. There's the three month. Let's take it to the six month. And um, you can see on again on Tuesday this thing broke out of what was a good trading, good um, good base for the better part of six months. Um, and broke out there is a gap that formed as a result of that breakout between the 1362 mark and somewhere around the 1571 um, it's consolidated those gains through the week whoops looking for that to uh, to continue up if it goes up past that $20 mark this week um, yeah that's going back into price discovery and as you can see um, is not afraid to make 50% gains in a matter of a week so that's certainly one to to watch as well um, and on car parts 43% as of mid January was uh, of the float was short um, Asperian therapeutics um, you can see again this one uh, broke resistance on uh, Wednesday of this past week shot up a good 25% from about 31 and 50 to well over $58 and consolidated on Thursday and Friday, retested and closed close to that support level on Friday. Look for that to continue. Any break above 35 when we move back into price discovery. And so this thing can uh, continue to move. And 50%, 50% of the float is short in ESPR. GX, GSX, Chinese education company, um, heavily, heavily shorted. Um, 27% of float is shorted. It had a huge move over the last couple of weeks from uh, around the, uh, let's say, $50 mark to almost 150 hit the 150 on Wednesday of this past week and consolidated those gains. We'll look for further consolidation um, in the first half of this week, but uh, once some of that gets chewed out of the market and this gap gets filled down to maybe the, early, the, the um, low 90s, We'd look for that to uh, continue that that uptrend as well. Uh, let's see, number eight on the list, on track. On track's an AI-powered virtual outpatient healthcare treatment uh, process. It broke resistance on Tuesday of last week with a huge move up to about the $95 mark and consolidated those gains Thursday. Nice. Doji formed on Friday, and we'll look for that to continue that uptrend. Breaking through that $95 mark puts this thing back in price discovery. And OnTrack has got a 38% of float is short as of mid-January. All right, the Rocket Companies. Who hasn't heard of this, guys? They've seen the commercials. Resistance was at around the $23 mark. It broke on that on Monday. Um, had a huge gap up on Friday and trended down throughout the day. Look for it to retest possibly tomorrow. That 50-day moving average of around 20 point 20, we'll call it $20.75 20 uh, before continuing that uptrend. 36% of rocket companies is uh, of the float is short. And last but not least, SunPower. SunPower should do well given the current administration um, in, in any way. And um, a lot of attention over the last couple of weeks has been paid to these alternative energy companies. Um, but it's formed a nice flag up here at the top between on the low end around the mid 40s to the high end of $54. Um, really looking for that to, to move. And 60% of the float is short in SunPower, the biggest on, on my list that, that I'm tracking this weekend. And so, um, look, if it moves over over 55 on volume uh, early this week, there's no telling where this is going. It's Look, it's moved um, out of its base um, back at the beginning, well, the end of December, we'll call it the 21st of December, reconsolidated to test that, that breakout, and then it's been off to the races since January. It's gone from 24, let's call it 25 bucks to 55 bucks in a month. Yeah, look at that, to $55 in a month. 
and um, so huge move in the last month and it does not look like that is is uh, is is going to stop so that's the 10 that's the 10 that I'm watching I know it's a short video only 10 minutes but um, I wanted to get this out for you uh, before the the start of tomorrow I'm watching all of these 10 and we'll be moving into some of them hopefully earlier in the week but I'll do it on volume and I'll do it on confirmation of the breakout but I do believe I do believe that with what happened at GameStop has brought absolute fear to big billionaire hedge funds and uh, I mean I put myself in their shoes if I was short a stock right now um, yeah even if I, I had absolute conviction in the validity of that of that trade um, I'd still be very scared right now and um, you know risk uh, moving out of that that risk I think will be key and will be a trend that just can't it can't stop in just one week with GameStop it's got to go through I, I think go through the market I think the shows like seeing on CNBC are missing that they're saying it's not going to contagion across the market um, but I don't see I mean I just think logic dictates otherwise now what do I know but um, I'd certainly if I put myself in their shoes I'd be I'd be getting unwinding those positions quickly just out of fear that um, that that they're gonna get hit with a GameStop like move and that was a four billion dollar mistake for the hedge fund we talked at the beginning of this video so anyway as a reminder I am NOT a financial advisor do not trade uh, or, or do anything based upon solely because I said it um, I'm just a dude with a computer that likes talking about this stuff and thinks it's fun and it's a hobby and I like to make money of course but uh, but don't do anything just because I said to because I'm certainly unqualified to manage your money um, but if you're entertained you like what I'm talking about and uh, you learn something along the way maybe you make a couple bucks that's awesome please uh, don't hesitate to subscribe to this channel and certainly like or comment as you as you feel uh, in so inclined so thank you very much for listening I hope you have a great week good luck to you and we'll talk to you again tomorrow thanks